Well, I just wanted to um, address something. You, 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 you made an interesting point about success and uh, what, what are we doing to be successful? What are we doing to, to be a part of whatever uh, the industry, the professional? Uh, and my answer to that is it all depends on what your definition of success is. Like if you need to make $30 million each film to consider yourself successful, then I'm a complete failure. My success, I don't need to, to have a Steven Spielberg, uh, my number on his speed dial, to consider myself successful. I don't need to go play war games with Tom Hanks in his, in his living room and have him talk to me about World War II and his passion for it and be buzz and buddies with him to consider myself successful. Um, I lit a show for Robert Lepage in Ottawa at one point. Because it was Robert Lepage, everybody uh, gives him all the credit for everything. He was hardly ever there. He was directing a, a concert with Peter Gabriel uh, at one place. He was over in Japan. He was directing a, a, an opera in Munich at the same time. We saw him maybe three or four times. And we're the ones who were working our asses off to make his show look good. And uh, the, just sitting in the audience, and when uh, my lighting cue would come up, and you'd have the audience go, huh? Or having the, the one scene that's just lit by this one light, and you just kind of see the actor come in and out of it, and you, and you feel the audience like sort of echoing the mystery that you've created with the look that I created on stage or the beautiful look that I have with the, this window uh, shade that comes across the carpet. Um, that, just feeling the people be touched by what I created made me feel good. And the following year when I was sitting in the same theater watching a different show and these two women behind me were talking about the show that I had lit the year before and they were saying, wow, wasn't that a beautiful show? It was, it was one of the most uh, blah, 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 like uh, talking about how the beautiful the lighting was and especially, and they said, yeah, it was Robert Lepage, he always has beautiful shows. And I felt like turning around and telling them, no, that was me, that was me. But the voice inside me said, why, why do you need to, them to know that it was you? Why, why are we so obsessed with uh, stardom or celebrity? Why do we need so much people to acknowledge that we're the ones who did it? I just took their, their what they said as a compliment and knew that I had done what I needed to do and I touched somebody. The rest is up to them. If I can when I'm, when I'm performing and, and somebody comes up to me and says, wow, that was brilliant, you were so good in that show. A part of me says, is it me or is it them? If I touch something in myself, if, I, if, I, if, if in exploring a character, I touch on something that is profoundly human and, and it moves me to the point that it moves someone else, it's because they're actually being moved by themselves. Because they figured out something about themselves through watching me discover something about myself through my exploration of the character. So do I need them to know that I am a brilliant actor? Or do I need them to know that they're a really special human being. There's that also that goes into it. What is celebrity? What is success? If I can touch someone in an audience, if I can, if I can go up on stage and have people for one hour in their lives forget about whatever, the, the, the particular whatever the, the, the external influences on their lives are defining them in their, in their regular routine. They forget about that and they remember that being human is something bigger, that being human is, is not about paying the bills or keeping the baby from crying or trying to get new tires in your car. It's about something bigger, it's about something inside, it's about 
imagination and beauty and and passion if I can for one minute of that hour have them touch onto that that's success that's why I'm doing it I don't care if you pay me it'd be nice if you did but if I can move somebody I'll find some other way to make money <laughs>